breaking news. He was just found dead after exposing Podstas. Once again the bodies are piling up around the liberals in Washington, and the media refuses to report on it. The deaths around the Clinton campaign have been rising in number for quite some time, but it's been hard to pin it on the elusive Hillary and make it stick. Like many of the rich and powerful, Clinton isn't out there getting her hands dirty, she's got layers of protection. One of those layers comes in the form of a slimy layer of Podesta brothers. John Podesta has been with the Clintons for decades, looking after not only the Clintons' interest but that of his and his brother, Tony. It's hard to say which brother is the more of a threat to the American people, because while John is watching the Clintons' backs, Tony is lobbying for the interests of Russian banks here in the United States. Regardless of which brother would win the Sleaze Award for Most Dangerous, they're both once again in the hot seat as investigators wonder if they're guilty of yet another murder. Truth Unsealed reports that the most recent death was of an investigator who connected to brothers to the death of Madeleine McCann. In case you've forgotten, Madeleine McCann disappeared while on holiday from the UK with her parents, Kate and Jerry McCann, her two-year-old twin siblings. The media coverage and investigation was massive. And sometime during that investigation, Kevin Holligen connected the deadly brothers to the missing girl. And as often happens when someone points a finger at someone involved with the Clinton Foundation, he woke up dead at a mansion in England. The blood-soaked body of a private detective who linked John and Tony Podesta to the disappearance of Madeleine McCann has been found at a mansion in Surrey, England. Mystery surrounds the death of Washington, D.C.-based Kevin Holligen. 56, who presented himself as a cloak and dagger, James Bond style spy who took on the most difficult cases. Surrey police confirmed Saturday that a probe has been launched into his death. Kevin Holligen took over the private investigation into the Madeleine McCann case in May 2008 and was responsible for linking John and Tony Podesta to the disappearance of the three year old girl in Portugal, sparking frenzied speculation that the brothers, both high-level Democratic Party operatives, were responsible for her murder. The 56-year-old detective and his partner Henri Exton were responsible for the two EFIT sketches, that were released in the search for the Madeleine McCann abductors, and which bore more than a passing resemblance to John and Tony Podesta. Kevin Hall Legend's investigative work into the disappearance of Madeleine McCann revealed that one of the men pictured in the EFIT sketches was seen carrying a young child that resembled the three-year-old child on a beach in Praia de Luz, Portugal, a popular beach holiday location where Hall Legend also proved the Podesta brothers were holidaying at the time. Halligan had dirt on the Podestas. Mainstream media attempted to convince everyone that it was a coincidence. However the 56-year-old private detective knew more about the Podesta brothers and their secrets than many initially assumed. The British investigator was DC-based, and worked for Oakley International, an intelligence operation that considered the Podesta group to be its natural enemy. Oakley International was based out of 2550 M Street, N.W., Washington, D.C. This address is also the office of Patton Boggs Washington's most politically connected law firm and lobbyist organization. When Halligan first moved to D.C. in 2005, he hired Patton Boggs to help set up his new business. Through his close connection with Patton Boggs, Kevin Holligen was more than familiar with the Podesta group. They are closely connected. Tony Podesta has gone on record on multiple occasions praising Tommy Boggs of Patton Boggs. He's a brilliant guy who invented what a lot of us do. Nick Hallard, Patton Boggs co-chairman also returns the praise for Tony Podesta, Tony and his group are the right people at the right time in the right place. Tom Boggs invented the lawyer lobbyist model and Tony perfected it. They are probably the two giants of the modern practice. There is no one else in the same zip code. So there is no question Hologen knew about the Podestas and their reputation. Why did he link them to Madeleine McCann's disappearance in Portugal? What dirt did Halligan have on the two powerful Democratic operatives? Why did Kevin Halligan, hired by the McCanns to investigate their daughter's disappearance, produce EFITs closely resembling, beyond reasonable doubt, his clients, Patton Boggs, biggest rivals? Who persuaded, and why? Jerry and Kate McCann to put their faith in a random Washington, D.C.-based private detective, 
and pay him $500,000, after he reached out to them telling them he could find their daughter. And why was Jerry McCann pictured laughing and joking his way around Washington, D.C., in July 2007, less than three months after his daughter Madeline disappeared, lobbying statesmen on child trafficking, kissing Laura Bush's dog, and generally enjoying the limelight? Kevin Hall legend's blood-soaked death in Surrey, England this week stinks to high heaven. The man who linked the Podestas to the disappearance of Madeleine McCann appears to have paid the ultimate price for something he did during his 56 years on this earth. Many believe linking the powerful Podestas to the disappearance of the three-year-old was the moment he signed his death warrant. At this point, we might not ever know what happened to poor little Madeleine, because of the number of millionaires that the Podestas are in bed fault with, but if they were looking to throw suspicion someplace else, killing the man who connected them to the case was probably not the way to do it. This whole thing is being brought up once again, all because someone else who crossed the Clinton Foundation met an untimely end. End